Hundreds of thousands evacuated as Typhoon Noro made landfall in Vietnam's Da Nang. Typhoon Noro made landfall near Vietnam's popular beach resort cities of Da Nang on Wednesday morning, bringing powerful winds and heavy rain as hundreds of thousands of people were evacuated. Noro hits Vietnam at 5 a.m. Wednesday local time, according to CNN Weather less than 36 hours after it left a trail of destruction in the Philippines, where it was known as carding. The typhoon weakened a little prior to making landfall, but was still equivalent to a high-end Categories 2 hurricane with wind near 175 km per hour or about 109 mph. Before its arrival, Vietnamese authorities has banned vessel from the sea and asked students to stay at home. It will continue to bring strong wind and surge along the coast near Da Nang, and is expected to weaken as it pushed inland over Southeast Asia, Central Vietnam, Southern Laos, and Northern Thailand, face a risk of flood over the next 48 hours. More than 100,000 households with 400,000 people have been evacuated as of Tuesday, according to Vietnam News. The English newspaper run by state-run Vietnam News Agency about 11,000 foreign tourists and 7,000 domestic visitors are staying in the city. The government also said localities had instructed nearly 58,000 boats with 300,000 laborers to move to safe shelters. Local authorities were asked on Tuesday to cancel unnecessary meeting to concentrate on storm prevention and control. According to Vietnam News, the English newspaper run by state-run Vietnam News Agency, Thư Thiên Huy province, home to more than 2,000 fishing ships and around 11,000 fishermen, also banned vessel from going out to the sea on Sunday. Amid warning, the storm will bring strong winds, high waves and flooding, Vietnam News reported. Vietnam's Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính chaired an urgent meeting with officials on Tuesday from at least eight provinces expected to be affected by the storm to discuss respond effort, VNA reported. Ministries, branches and localities, especially the head of such units, must further enhance their responsibility to ensure the safety, life and property of the people and the state in the context of the weather. Climate change is becoming increasingly extreme and unusual, causing very serious consequences, the Prime Minister said, according to Vietnam News. Typhoon Noro left the Philippines around 8 p.m. on Monday, according to a bulletin from the Philippines Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Service Administration. After barreling through the high winds and heavy rains that flooded Luzon, the country's largest and most populated island, Eight people die in typhoon-related incidents, including five rescue worker. The National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council said on Tuesday. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.